you have hair in your face. You can't start out like that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hi. I'm Katie Bang. And I'm her sister, Callie. Welcome to my channel. Really quick, should we introduce the pickies? Yeah. This is Monday, this is Friday. And this is Waffles. So, we just thought they could join us for this video since we're sitting down. And today we are going to be reacting to Craigslist ads. Hi, Taquito. The Craigslist ads of people that just don't take care of their animals, animals properly. And I realized how many bad ads there were and how many animals I want to save. So, I thought it would be a really good video idea. And who did we see do it? Emma Lynn Sampson. Yeah, we saw her do it, and I really liked watching her video. Didn't you think it was good? Yeah. So I'll link her down below. Go check her video out. But before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe to join the family. And turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post and to be part of the notification squad. Okay, so there were so many ads, but I'm just going to pick a couple. One of the first ones I picked out, it says, I have many animals for sale and they have like two winter white dwarf hamsters, two robo dwarf hamsters, two male gerbils, a female rex rabbit and what I noticed about this is like look at how small the yeah. cage is. They don't even have like a bucket wheel in their cage or anything. I just thought it looked really kind of sad and they um, hamsters really like to burrow too. They don't have enough bedding for that. They have really tiny cages and so yeah it was just kind of sad right? Yeah. Okay, so the next one Callie picked out, so I'm going to let her tell you about it. So basically, this is a hamster in a cage with not a lot of bedding, so it can't burrow, and there's no wheel or anything in it. Yeah, it's just kind of sad. It's a very bare minimum cage. Okay, the next one is Bearded Dragons. And this, I first saw cohabbing, which is something that I actually rescued two right at bearded dragons and they were my first reptile ever so I kept them in the same cage when they were baby babies but very quickly learned that that was not okay so cohabbing is not possible and they just kept them in the same cage it says yeah. three six or there's three in the same cage and they have a complete terrarium but their terrarium is very small it's like a 20 gallon with three of them they're there's three six-month-olds, but that still doesn't mean you can't put them in the same cage. Yeah, exactly. Now, the next one is about guinea pigs. And you know, guinea pigs were my first pet on my own. These were actually my first guys. And I went to the pet store and listened to what they told me after I had done research. And they were like, no, 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 you don't want to stress them out. This cage is too big. And I quickly kept upgrading their cage, kept working on them, especially posting videos about them. I learned so much from you guys, too, and so many tips and tricks. Hey, shh, buddy. Um, so I have them in a huge cage now, but when I started out, their cage was pretty big. It just wasn't the biggest thing in the whole entire world. And yeah, so I think you can always learn. This cage is just so small, they barely have, yeah. they don't have any hides or any room to run around. It just made me really, really sad. And also, our guinea pigs are super happy in their cage. Yeah, and our guinea pigs love to run around. I couldn't imagine if they couldn't run around. Okay, the next one, this, this got me heated. This is a turtle, right? Look at this, hold on. It's a turtle in like a 10 gallon with rocks and water. So first off, I don't own turtles, but I know that they need a UVB, a basking light, they need a lot of stuff. And they also need a place to go where they can bask and warm up and be out of the water. This doesn't have water deep enough first off, but then it also doesn't have a basking spot where it can get out of water at, at any time. So it's just kind of a sad setup, right? And, yeah, and I'm hoping the person who buys or bought this makes the turtle happier than an yeah. is. The next one is a teddy bear hamster. She is just in the smallest cage and she's on a wire wheel, which first off, wire wheels are really bad for their feet. It's like a four inch wheel and Syrian hamsters need an eight to 10 inch wheel. She has only one log, which could be a hide, not enough bedding to burrow and that makes me sad. And I don't know, it's just a really sad setup, right? And, and, and they're big, like they're not the smallest hamster. Yeah, and this looks like it could be like a five gallon tank, like it's a very small tank. Okay, the next one is six gerbils for sale and they are all in what looks to be a five or ten gallon tank. Um, it's very tiny with no bedding and no anything. And I know gerbils go together, but obviously they need proper room 
hi buddy and stuff like that so it was just kind of sad and I mean there were so many ads but I just thought we could pull a couple and talk about that and make a quick little video right girlfriend yep yeah so thank you guys so much for watching Please like and subscribe, and again, turn on the post notification. Yeah. Oh, wait. Should we do a creature call-out? Yeah. So today's creature call-out is... Mars and Brown. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mars and Brown, for being part of our family, and thank you to everyone for being a part of our family. Okay, let's all say bye. 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 We love you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> bye. We done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>